Tika Stadium in Kiambu County is not an ordinary venue for the ODM leader Rila Odinga. This will be the first time Rila will be launching his presidential campaigns at the heart of the Mount Kenya region. Analysts say the move is strategically meant to affirm the region's backing of the ODM boss. The choice of having his first mega rally of 2022 in a stadium that is domiciled in a region that has been cagey in supporting his presidential bids in the last two decades was obviously not a random thought. It is symbolic and nostalgic about Rila's political story. One will not be mistaken to say it is where the ODM leader cut his political teeth. His first meeting at Tika Stadium was in 1995 when he and former Vice President the late Kiana Wamawa battled for the control of the Ford Kenya party following the demise of his father Jaramogi Ogingo Dinga, a year earlier. Jaramogi until his death was the party leader of Ford Kenya. The 1995 meeting was characterized by chaos pitting Wamawa supporters against Rilas. The meeting ended with Wamalwa winning the party leadership seat even as Rila's supporters opposed the outcome. Rila would immediately quit Ford Kenya and resign as Langata MP. He joined the LDP party, became its leader and won back his seat in the by-elections that followed. A decade later, Rila would go back to Tika Stadium where he daring launched the no campaigns against the new constitution, not forgetting that the venue was home to the then incumbent president Mwai Kabaki. Kabaki was the de facto leader of the Yes campaigns. As he goes back to Tika Stadium to create another historic moment in his political life, today's, Saturday, rally will be crucial for him in seeking the presidency for the fifth time now. More than 20,000 people are expected to attend the Tika rally. Organizers of the event said they expect people across the Mount Kenya region to attend. At least 300 leaders, including governors, senators, women representatives, MPs and MCAs are also expected to be present. Rila will first meet delegates from Tika and parts of the Mount Kenya region, youth representatives, and the business community at Happy Valley Grounds, in Mount Kenya University, Tika.